Hello everybody, this is Anon42 again, and I'm playing Super Paper Mario, and last time we finished the Chapter 2 stuff, so now we're going to move on to Chapter 3. But before we do that, we have to go through here, and right before I lose my 3D powers, ouch. Well, whatever, that didn't work. Anyways... Okay then, I sort of forgot where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Crap. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go over here, right, right. I'm very brain dead right now, by the way. And maybe a little tired. Okay, so I'm supposed to go over here and we need to find the stand to put the pu pure heart in. So we need to find heart pillar and destroy these enemies. Woo! Okay, you're gone, yay. Now there's these blocks here. And by the way, if you press 1 and 2, then it goes to like the shortcut air window. So switch to Boomer. And kaboom! Voila, the blocks are gone and you can go down this pipe. Simple as that. And these Frogger guys are really annoying. Right after you kill them, they split into like three or four new ones, mini ones. But if you time it just right, you can hit all of them at once. And it will be easy. Now right here, use Mario and Slim. Go into 3D. There's this little slit in the wall or something. And switch back in. Here's your heart pillar. Yeah, that was fast, wasn't it? Took no time at all. And now it shifts the time continuum or something like that and creates a door out of nowhere. Yay, there it is. And it's yellow. What a nice color. And now time has started again, and we can move again. So we move back out, and we have to go back. Moving back. Whoa. And don't worry about that pipe yet. We don't have to go down there. And apparently those enemies respawn. I'm gonna actually cut it to where the door is. So I'll see you guys when I get over there. Okay, and we're back to where the door is. Now we can just move on in and get this chapter started. Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Murley's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3-1 When Geeks Attack This cannot be good. We're going to an anime convention. <laughs> yeah, because I've obviously never gone to one. I actually have gone to one, it's okay. 
I'm just that way. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, I'm a uh, ack. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have a, such a weird voice here. Hi, technical. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at Digibutter.ner are going to freak when they get the word of this find. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. No way am I going to entrust my digital record of meow to tape an ep episode so epic. This is so high technical. What a weird person. <laughs> and I sounded so weird doing his voice. Whoa ho ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spect spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel. Now that that freak Francis has her. Yay, this is Bitland. This place is really cool because everything's in like weird square forms and everything. Cool. Now, look into this bush. Whoa! Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek that grabbed her, Francis, basically the nerd of all nerds. Plus he's got this thing for butterflies and well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Whoa now, you want to know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerdware and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy get getting past them. But here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. And if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all of that? Good. No. You be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do s save her, come back and tell me how you did. Okay, well, I better get going. Yay, coin. And you can t go talk to that pixel guy. Wait, like, anytime you want, and he'll tell you the tips again. But you cannot acquire him as your partner just yet. He will come in later. And I'm just gonna move around and pick... And Tippy has been kidnapped. The horror of it all. Who will give me my useless information? Yay, saving. Okay. Now I'm gonna... Oh, you jerk. Stupid magic Koopas. They come in actually pretty early in this game. I mean, you noticed, I mean, normally they come in very late in the game. And I have a feeling I'm probably gonna... Actually, I don't want the Shell Shock. That's just a shell. And I don't want to grab it again. Wait till it disappears. And kill these flying ones in this... Ouch. 
Apparently they only turn into normal ones. And another Curcia. I'm not sure what this one does since I haven't been hit by it, but... Better safe than sorry. I don't want to poison this mushroom. No! Actually, I don't think you need to go down here. I have forgotten so much since the last time I played this game. No, jump. What the heck? Oh yeah, peoples. They're peoples! It's epic. Well, let's see. What is around here? There's actually pipes over there, so I'm just gonna check them out. If I do have to go down here, then... Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. Now, I actually have to cut it here. I'm running low on time, so I'll catch you guys in the next episode.